Uh, as a member of the House Appropriations School Aid Subcommittee, I rise in opposition of this bill. Uh, first of all, the foundation allowance increase uh, just slightly under the rate of inflation from $60 to $120 per uh, student per school district using the 2x formula. Uh, an independent study done by the state of Michigan found that we are underfunding each and every one of our students uh, significantly by the tune of $1,200. $1, in addition, the governor recommended a decrease in the cyber school foundation allow allowance by uh, 20%. Uh, this uh, bill increases it back to 100% when we know that online students uh, need less funding uh, because they don't have brick and mortar schools. At risk funding uh, was not uh, to increased was not increased to the adequate amount that I see fit for my district and for the students across the state of Michigan, as well as restoring it to what the governor had recommended. While high school uh, funding was increased uh, for high school students by $25 per student, uh, the governor recommended $50 increase for a student because we know it costs more to educate uh, a student enrolled in high school. Additionally, the governor recommended a $7 million increase for declining enrollment because almost all of our school districts have less students enrolled and our found, uh, foundation formula is based on student enrollment. And this, uh, this bill includes zero uh, money for uh, declining enrollment. Additionally, something that I think that we all care about is educator evaluations and how well our teachers are doing in the classroom. This budget includes no money for education or educator evaluation when the governor uh, recommended $7 million. Additionally, this bill includes $2.5 million for private school reimbursement, uh, which I believe that we should be prioritizing our traditional public schools and helping our teachers uh, who are receiving uh, our tax dollars. No additional funding for transportation reimbursements, as well as a labor, there's no uh, Labor Day waiver uh, for schools who would like uh, to ask the Department of Education to start before Labor Day. In addition, as my colleague uh, stated, there is a, uh, there's no removal of legal action uh, that, uh, that prohibits school districts from taking against the state as well as the collective bargaining agreement uh, that remains uh, that would uh, unfortunately penalize our school districts who enter collective bargaining agreements uh, with a 5% reduction in their foundation allowance. And so on behalf of the students of Michigan and my school districts at home, I urge my colleagues to vote no on the school omnibus. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative.